Um, that was Michael Jackson, Remember the Time. Now, I don't remember a time, nor has it ever happened, when two black men are running for the U.S. Senate in the state of Georgia. I don't think, even in Reconstruction, this was something that happened. And every part of me wants to be proud, regardless of my political ideology and theirs, that two black men are running for the United States Senate. Uh, it would make me, pr ordinarily, it should make me proud. I should be very proud, regardless of my their party affiliation, the fact that two black men were running for such powerful positions in the state of Georgia, which at one time was was among the heart, the heart of the Confederacy. But I cannot be proud. And it's not because I differ from them, from, from one of them politically. It is because I have never, ever seen someone so woefully inept running for elected office, national elected office. And I'm speaking of Herschel Walker. And, and it is the first time I've ever been ashamed to hear someone talk. Not only do I think, not only think, do I think Herschel Walker should not run uh, for Senate or should not be allowed to run for Senate. I don't think he should be left at home alone with a pilot light on. And, and I say this for a couple of reasons. Now, it is the first time that there have been people who I disagree with. I don't particularly like Tim Scott or agree with him, but there is no way I could ever question his intelligence. I can't do that at all. Herschel Walker is intellectually lazy. You can't go to one of the finest institutions of higher learning on the face of the earth in Georgia and speak like that. If you want or are serious about being a senator, why haven't you gotten better? Like if somebody tells you how poorly you speak, why haven't you decided to make that strength to say, you know what, I'm going to because I'm serious about this job and I want to be better. And I realize this is a weakness of mine. I'm going to work on it. I've never seen Herschel Walker sitting among uh, uh, people working on policy. I've never seen him working with the Chamber of Commerce. I've never seen him meeting with farmers. I've never seen him do anything that somebody serious about becoming a U.S. senator would do because he's counting on one pe one thing that white people like him. And this is funny to me because it pits a lot of black people in Georgia against the white people who want to give them the black man they should have. And if Herschel Walker were trying to be a senator, were trying to uh, improve, were trying to get better, were trying to be taken seriously, it would make me not even have to like what he stands for politically, but respect what he's trying to do. Respect what he's trying to do. I would say, you know what, I don't agree with him, but look at how hard he's trying. Herschel, for you, to, you went to one of the finest institutions of higher learning on the face of the earth, and you obviously walked past every book on the on your way to the field. There is more to being a senator than a playbook and a Bible, and you don't seem proficient at any of them. It isn't. It isn't what you uh, the, the the way you'll vote. It's that you don't even try. You're not even trying to get better. You stand up there, you say things that you know are incorrect, you know how you sound, and you don't do anything about it. Because you know that they're going to support you no matter what. Herschel Walker is everything they pretend to hate about black people. Now, I can't say that I agree with everything Raphael Warnock does, but there's one thing you can't tell me. He wants this job, he's trying to get better at this job, and he works on his weaknesses. And that's what you do when you seriously want to be considered for it. So today, either Georgia will... Uh, decide to refer, uh, to, to, to uh, elect Warnock for, for another term, a full term, or they'll decide to go with Herschel Walker. I should be proud. I want to be proud. And I cannot be because I am not looking at two men who are equal, of equal intellect, equal desire, equally proficient. I'm looking at one man who wants the job and one man who white men want to have it. I should be proud, but I'm not. I, I'm, 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 we're in Georgia now. We should be rejoicing that something so unusual has happened. But when I watch a man who doesn't even try to come to grips with his weaknesses, doesn't even try to do something better, doesn't even try to, to seriously be considered for the job. He's really counting on the fact that white people say he ain't worn up. This slogan for him might as well be any nigga will do. I want to be proud of you, but how can I when you're talking about werewolves and watermelon and coons? Either Georgia will decide to to rep to to uh, elect uh, Raphael Warnock, or it'll be Herschel Walker. Though that fact is so rare in America, it is noteworthy. It is also noteworthy that only one of those men actually wants to do the work to actually be a good senator. That's a little note from the GED section. We have the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.